Good morning, caller. Hello. Fantastic. We, like they got it under control there. Yeah, sorry about that. I do appreciate your help. Hey, uh, good to see the atheist community alive and well in Austin. Thank you. Thank you. Thing. I'm glad I am not alone. I'm oh, alone. yes. Yeah. Thank you. I have a problem here. Sure. Uh, the Baptist church where Charles Bullock is the pastor, uh, it's on Kramer Lane, mm -hmm. the precinct where I vote just happens, or the, the polls are in his church. Uh, we okay. Go ahead, there, sorry. There are people in the parking lot passing out their religious literature or their right-wing practices, you know, and I did not... Uh, there, there is a limit on how close they can get to the polls. Are they, vi uh, was it 50 feet? Uh -huh. Uh, I there is a there is they were much there is a, uh, a measurement written down in the law on how close they can hand out literature to the polling. The uh, best thing I can suggest is you get video of them actually doing that. Uh, but doesn't that just cover electioneering yeah, and not say, religious? May, they may be able to get around that. Do they, do they talk about the campaigners at all? The uh, elector? The, uh, uh, election? I'm not sure because I avoided the place. I didn't even vote in the primary because of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I'm sorry, caller. Uh, we've we've now lost the caller on here in the mile. I can't hear him. Uh, hang in there, Rick. I really appreciate you bearing with us. Okay. Oh, there. You're go. back. Okay, Rick. Go ahead. What would you okay. say? Anyway, I'm looking to go early voting next time because I can do that at the mall. You know, I don't have to worry about going there. But they are in the parking lot of the annex building passing this stuff out. And what exactly are they passing out? Anti-gay stuff. Just their radical Any, beliefs. Anything to do yeah. with electioneering, though? The uh the, the well, they have all the signs out in the uh, in the the lawn area there, you know, for all their political candidates that they endorse pretty much. And none of the signs I saw were Democrats, by the way, you know. And uh, no. I I know that I think it's a hundred feet within a voting poll. Exactly. There is a measurement. I I don't know the exact footage. Uh -huh. But, but uh, uh, I I would certainly get a video camera next election day. And tape some of this. And, and thank you. Get some of the touch. literature itself. Tell us how that goes. We'd love and to collect hear what about it. collect whatever it is that they're handing out. I uh -huh. think they, they can probably get away with that so long as I it, would I would not hesitate to file a lawsuit against them if they are doing this. And I wonder who I would go to to do this. I called the voting commission and complained about it. And the guy there was just a dumb redneck, we apparently know. supportive of them, you know. And he just blew me off pretty much. But it, uh. I don't know if the ACLU would handle They'd something. They'd be interested in hearing about it at least. Uh -huh. and may be able to give you some advice. Uh, maybe I could go to the city council or something. Uh, uh, may, uh, come down to our lecture March 29th, and mm -hmm. uh, Jay Jacobson will be there discussing exactly that topic there. Maybe that would be a good point. Uh, maybe it'd be a good time to bring up that question. I'd okay, like you want to give me that information? Me. Say again. The information for the. Repeat it. Like oh, the, 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 oh uh, it's March 29th. Furs uh, restaurant, which is on North Cross Mall, uh, and it'll start at 11 o'clock. And uh, 11 a.m. Yeah, 11 a.m. Uh, what since it's a restaurant there and everything else, we, uh, we let everybody go through the line and eat first. So the lecture won't start exactly 11 o'clock. Everybody gets there at 11, and we try to get the lecture started like 11:30, 11:45, and try to get everybody back out by one o'clock. Hopefully, is what the plan is. But uh, John Coons had a lecture there, and it went on for several hours. We had a lecture about evolution. John Coons is a science teacher, and he did an excellent lecture on evolution. And we had it went on for a good two or three hours, didn't it? All the questions and discussion and debate, actually debating and everything else. So, any other questions or comments, Rick? No, I look forward to being there, and I will be there. Good to see all y'all on the air, and keep it up. Thank you. Good day.